it's Lindsay here at OLSLC. I was asked to share my faith story. Um, many of you know my story, but some of you don't. I've been a member at Our Saviors here for a handful of years, not too long, and I've been working here since 2018 as the Education Ministries Coordinator. I've not always been super active with my faith or super active in church. I grew up I was baptized, I attended church on Sundays, and went to Sunday school. I was confirmed and married in the church as well, um, but it wasn't something I prioritized. Uh, many years I attended church just on holidays. Um, when I had my children, they too were baptized, but it wasn't something that we did regularly. And that all changed when I realized how much I needed God in my life. Um, as many of you know, I lost my husband in 2018. I was after being his primary caregiver for over 10 years. He was diagnosed with lupus in 2006 and doctored for many years. He ended up with kidney disease, heart issues, a blood clotting disorder, seizures. Seriously, the list could go on and on. As the years went by, he became very sick. He was constantly hospitalized, um, had many surgeries, and missed out a lot on raising our two young boys. That ultimately led to depression and dependency on pain meds. Um, life was beyond difficult for us. Uh, we knew he wasn't going to last forever. I mean, he always talked about openly about dying, um, told the boys and taught them often that someday he would be living with Jesus. I think he was at peace with that, and I think the boys were too. Even after he died, the boys would say, Mom, why are you crying? Daddy's with Jesus, and we knew that's where he was going to go. Um, in the last few years of Emilio's life, that is when we became very active at OSLC. We started both volunteering for Vacation Bible School and teaching Sunday School together on Sundays. At first we teach together, and then later he was able to run classes on his own, which he really took pride in. Um, it was kind of something we looked forward to as a family. We'd come attend Sundays, and it was a way for us to build our faith together and have that good quality family time. Um, so during that time, I was hired at OLSLC, and this building quickly became our home away from home. Um, we were here often, a place where my children felt safe, and we were surrounded by a church family that we never knew we needed, but we needed more than we ever knew. Um, these people in our congregation became the, the glue that held us together after Emilio passed. They were here on our hardest days, and we needed that. I think God knew, knew we needed that too. So we lost Emilio almost two years ago. Um, it'll be in November. And the boys and I are doing amazingly well. Um, we have begun to move forward. As many of you know, life continues to, to go on even after you experience a tragedy and lose somebody you love. Life continues. Um, my faith has continued to also grow deep, probably deeper than it's ever been. I do a lot of praying, spend a lot of time with quiet reflection, and I'm beyond blessed to still be a part of this OSLC family, and I look forward to what God has in store for me.